So to summarize our BPD splitting episode session tonight, this is part four. If you've missed the previous parts, I encourage you to watch those. I've also shot other videos on BPD splitting uh, that are extremely relevant. To recap, I am in remission. I do not experience BPD episodes anymore. I actually teach BPD classes and interventive emotional skills to people who need the help. Um, some of you follow me on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you know, etc. That said, regardless of whether or not you're in my class, I would like you to pick up this skill. So we were talking about how you can get ahead of the splitting. When you start to sense the personality change is overcoming you, you're flipping the switch, right? You're going from one extreme to the other, black and white thinking. And I was talking about how it's easier to get ahead of this when you imagine that there are multiple um, mentalities behind you. So you need to expand your brain and imagine that you have 10 other brains working for you. What would these brains say? What would these people suggest? You know, how would they suggest a better outcome, okay? But this goes deeper than that. And I kind of want to quote some economics here. The father of economics, Adam Smith, once said that what is best for an individual will benefit the group best. And that theory stood true for a long time until John Nash came along and suggested that there was, you know, a significant alteration to be made to this theory. And it is better when an individual considers both what is best for themselves and for the group. And that is best for everybody, the individual and the group. So that got me thinking a little more, you know, while I'm going through this minor BPD splitting trigger with my partner, I'm like, well, wait a minute. You know, I've been thinking a lot about myself here, selfishly, right? But what's best for me and for her? You know, what is the best outcome for both of us? Because we both want to come out on top here. We both want to feel like winners. I mean, what is it like to win when your partner feels depressed for the next week or two weeks or whatever, right? That's not a win. I mean, that's a loss. You want both of you to feel good about yourselves and good about the relationship. And to get ahead of this BPD splitting symptom, you know, where this personality change is occurring, you need to start a, a, accumulating a, a thought process of what is best for everybody involved, whether it's your partner or friend or whatever. So that is the complete ending of the skill that I have acquired today. And I hope that this video will reach someone else's heart and help.